In this video, let's talk a little bit about Japanese Yen. The Japanese Yen has been moving quite nicely. This is, again, the daily chart out here. And we're looking at the daily chart. And you can see over the last oh, three or four days, five days, this market started to make some serious moves. During this time frame, not so much. It's been a little bit uh, uh, out of favor over that last month time frame, not really doing a whole lot. But once it started to get a little bit of volatility in here, started to run over the last you know, six days here, this has been a really good market to trade. And so we're back in favor with the Japanese yen. Let's drop down here to a smaller time frame. Let's come down to the range bar six. And just look at what it did this morning. If we just slide back a little bit into the uh, into the London market, you can see it was a little quiet, but then it started our, our little uh, rally coming out here into the London market. But the first thing we see coming into the New York time frame is this little bobble here uh, off of this little ABC pattern. So we come in here with this little ABC pattern back into the London market. And we start looking for a projection out into the future where we anticipate this market going based on this little ABC pattern. You can see that we got the entry point right in there, which is the first set of blue dots coming in across there, breaking again. We want to remember that the blue dots are basically mathematically calculated trend line systems and what we're looking for is we're looking for the breaking of those trend lines so once this market broke the optimal place for the breaking to come come in is right around that 23 percent uh, level on the Fibonacci projections we kind of like to see it come in right in that range somewhere and as you can see that trend line comes in there uh, again this is a little bit easier to see in hindsight obviously but when you see a, a situation like this and you got your ABC laid in there and you start seeing this market start to rally you've got your trend line across there you got your blue lights coming in at the 23.6 go ahead take that position if the market doesn't immediately rally in your favor just get right back out you don't need to take a big risk and sit through a big drop drawdown. Uh, we're not always right on this, so uh, when we take a chance like this, we pull the trigger, we get in, just make sure the market goes decisively in your favor. And then we use the blue lights to trail and get out. And you can see this morning this was a nice little trade uh, coming in off here, if we just draw our calculator in there, from the entry to the exit. The first exit was right in there, about $200. And then this market kind of bobbled a little bit up here at the top, uh, had a reversal. Um, and whether you caught that reversal or not, it wasn't much of a move in there from this initial move from here to here. It was about a $50 move. So basically a scratch even trade off that top position. Again, drawing your trend lines across the bottom of those blue lights and then taking the breaking of the blue light system. Now as we come in here and look, we've got this nice little, uh, another little ABC, it's, it's a real tough one in here. You almost wanted to go short on this one um, at this little breaking right here. So this would have been a location that we might have taken a short position, tried to take a, a short position, got stopped out with a small loss in here uh, looking for this market to reverse. But we were in an overall uptrend looking for a uh, continuation of this trend here. So. Uh, this was the overall trend of the market, looking for the continuation of the upside trend of this market. So breaking of this trend line again, if we did try to take a short position here, we were reversed at the next set of dots right there. Take the long position, we got a confirmation with the arrow. And that was a much better trade for us, giving back what we lost earlier. And that was about a oh, $185 move uh, from blue light to blue light. Just remember, not all trades are going to be winners, but when we do get into a market, if it does not decisively move in our favor, just get right back out. Don't take a big loss. Don't sit through a big drawdown. It's not a trade you want to be in anyway if it's not moving in your direction decisively. Hi, my name is Land Turner, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to learn a little bit more about day trading these Fibonacci and Elliott Wave patterns, as I've exampled here, Stop by my website at www.tradementors.com where you can access my free Heisenberg day trading course where I teach you exactly how to trade using the red light green light system, intercept orders, the blue light system, and much more. It's free. Stop by and learn how to make this happen for yourself.